What's going on, guys? Yo, this is not your ordinary guy. I'm so pumped up today, man. This is your motivation guy. I don't care if you're feeling demotivated today, man. Be inspired. I'm your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, and I'm so pumped up for this season, man. It is going down for real, dude. Okay, so as you know, with the new season, our arena points got reset, which means you're on that grind once again. Oh boy, oh boy. But uh, no worries, my friends, because in this video, I'm gonna be showing you four awesome low-key drop spots that you can use to get easy points. These spots are typically uncontested. You know, you could just freely, you know, get loot and full mats, which makes them great for ranking up. And while these spots aren't exactly new or anything like that, you know what? They're still what we think are the best arena drop spots for season four. And if you need help finding a better landing and your own loot path, <laughs> you're gonna have to have a talk with one of our coaches. They can craft you a unique early game path that fits your play style and helps you get those sweet, sweet arena points. And when you're ready, check it out in the description below. All right, bunch of crunch army. Everybody get that bunch of crunch out. It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. Now let's get this going. So, the first spot is Fancy View, the modern looking house on the west coast of the map. Landing here, and I mean like right here, gives you excellent loot, mats, free shields, and since it's relatively uncontested, it makes for a fantastic drop if you're looking for consistent points. You're going to want to start by seeing if the chest spawned on the crane. If it did, try to land on it. However, let me say this, just know that weapons can be on the house rooftop as well. So if you're contested, you might want to land on a gun to defend yourself if possible. But either way, start off by looting this house. There are potentially three chests, one on the crane, one in the kitchen, and one in the basement. Also, in the basement is a henchman chest, which I believe always spawn, unlike regular chests. Anyways, after you get all the loot, farm the metal in the kitchen, then hit up the coast until you have about mm, 300 brick. Now, if you get shields and you're uncontested, don't drink them. There's a nearby slurp truck to the east, which you're going to be going after once you're done farming here. From the slurp truck, though, where you go depends on where the zone is, okay? If it's far east, that's where you're heading. Start off with the trees with a single chest and some rocks that you can just farm, okay? Then continuing until you reach the pond. Which houses, you know, some fishing spots and a chest inside the shack. Go southeast for a chest inside those triangle-shaped logs, then east again for two chests inside this house. From this house, okay, there are a couple more points of interest that you can hit up. One is an upgrade bin south of you, and to the east of that is another enhancement chest between some trees. And at this point, you should be kitted except maybe just, you know, missing some metal, which might be what you want to focus on gathering for your next rotation. Now, I say that 80% of the time, you're following this path eastward, but what if the zone pulls all the way to the northwest? I say just do the same route up until you reach the pond, but then head north to the shore for up to three chests and those metal crates, which can actually be farmed for max metal. If it pulls hard south, I go from the slurp truck to the metal crates, then head south again, check to see both the two small islands on the coast, fish if you want, and then check the house shaped like an H just to see if they're looted. If you need to upgrade, you can do it at this house too. All right, guys, so the next drop spot is at the island's way, way north, where the yacht used to be last season. The yacht not being here is unfortunate as it cuts down on a lot of the loot that you can get, but let me tell you this, it has an upside. This spot is now a lot freer than it was in season three. Start off by landing at the big shed on the west side of the island. Here you can find up to two chests, a ton of brick and wood, and some floor loot. After you're done, my friends, go east and loot the rest of the island. There should be enough brick and wood here to fill you up, so don't forget to farm it, all right? Once you're done on the island, check for the chest by the boat on the shore. If it's there, get it, all right? And rotate northwest along the coast until you get to the beach houses. Check inside and underneath for the two chests and head south until you reach the broken cars. A chest can spawn here, but either way, you're here to farm all this metal. So after you're done getting the metal, go south to the Dirt Burger food truck for a chest and more metal if needed, okay? Then go southeast slightly for a chest by some rocks and finally east until you reach the hilltop house. There are two more chests inside the house, so definitely loot it, man, and you should definitely be stacked at this point. Depending on where the zone is, you rotate from here, but if you get circle favored at the start, there's one more thing that you can do. 
You can always grab a fishing rod and upgrade to look for those new fish, all right? Better yet, get a boat and look for fishing spots since the rocket now gives the good kinds of fish now. So, you know, you can get a thermal fish, one that fills your shields, even one that acts like chuck splashes. But in all realness, man, the new fish are kind of overrated and you're just better off just going for floppers with a regular rod since you have limited inventory anyway overall this loot pass is still really dope like even with the absence of the yacht you can get kitted with full mats almost every game all right guys but before we move on let me say this just a reminder that pro guys has a community discord and reddit where you know you can join to ask for help on anything find teammates give video suggestions and so much more links are in the description All right, bro, so the next spot is just under Mount F8 in the southern part of the map. It's pretty well concealed, and only a few people really know about this spot. You might run into some players, but for most of your game, you should have this place all to yourself. We're gonna start off by landing at this cabin here, and I mean like right here, directly below the mountain. The cabin can spawn up to four chests, so loot them all, guys. Get the ammo crates, and don't forget to check the attic. Once done, head outside and check to the southeast for a chest that can spawn on the hammock. If it's there, go open it and farm the brick you see as well. All right, guys, so head back up the mountain, farming every brick spot that you see, and get the chest directly above the cabin that you landed at. From here, go to the right and up the snowy mountain toward Camp Base Foxtrot. A couple of chests can spawn here, but another thing we're gathering is metal. So, there isn't really too much metal along our path, so if you destroy these two metal sheds and whatever else you see, it should get you to max metal. When you get the two chests at the camp base, all right, climb all the way up the mountain for one more chest situated around some brick, then slide down the hill for one final chest above the waterfall. That's pretty much it for this spot. Like, if you want, you can get a couple more chests in the cabin north, but either way, man, like, you should have a great kit and max materials. So, where you go from here is definitely your choice. Lastly, look at a chapter two classic, Camp Cod. This is probably the only spot in this video that's regularly contested, but still, it's usually one or two players at most, and the loot you get is crazy. Now, there are pretty much three different spots that you can land here, the house, the barn, and the junkyard. Okay, so we're gonna line up the junkyard since that has a ton of chest spawns for us. Not to mention you can get every type of material maxed here. So start by landing on the water tower guys for your first chest, then jump down and collect the chest on the metal platform below, all right? Afterwards, check inside the small brick building for another. On the other side is an overturned red truck. Destroy that for a chest in metal, farm every chain link fence you see, and head east to the dock with the blue container, which has a chest and fishing spots nearby. But after that, head into the factory and harvest everything worthwhile. Get all the ammo crates and loot spawns. Then go to the north side, get the one chest on the ground floor, go up the stairs for another, and go outside for one more by the dumpster. Once you're done farming mats, head west a bit and check next to this tent for one final chest. At this point, you should have a gray loadout. Sadly though, with the bloated loot pool and chest spawns not being 100%, you sometimes don't even get max shields. So in those cases, you can keep looting the rest of the island, or you can just head out of Camp Cod altogether and just check the mountains to your north or to the west for more loot. In conclusion, my friends, Camp Cod gets you everything maxed on a ton of loot, but just expect at least one enemy to land with you every single game. Okay, one final thought, my friends. All these spots I talked about are located on the map's edges, so you might be unlucky and get really, really far zones. In those cases, one of the best things that you can do is just rotate early. That way, you can avoid all the players who rotate last second, avoid storm fights, and secure your position for the next zone. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me on my Insta at your motivation guy. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed the drop spots and loot routes. If you want loot paths for the new season four locations, as well as advice on how to get the new mythic items, you can check out our video on that one, all right? And for more tips and tricks from top players like Mongrel and Benji, check out proguys.com today. But other than that, hey, make sure you like the video and subscribe. And don't forget to leave a comment telling me what your favorite landing spot is. All right, bunch of crunch army, keep eating that bunch of crunch, and let's get this going.